Peter Bernstein, senior editor of TMCNet.com. I'm here at Cloud Expo on the show floor with Rebecca Thompson of Avir uh, Systems. That's correct. And uh, we're talking, uh, this is Cloud Expo, so we're talking cloud storage and we're talking a unique take on it. So tell us a little bit about the company and then why hybrid and and what's so hybrid about it? Okay, great. Yeah, so we are a we are a data storage provider of hybrid cloud solutions. So what that means is we work with people's existing file-based storage and we enable them to move it on to object storage and that could be private cloud or it could be the public cloud, for example, like AWS. So that is uh, that is what we do with hybrid cloud. And we do that all without allowing people to make any changes whatsoever to their application. So that's a little different take on what's going on in the marketplace historically. Um, talk to us a little bit about how you came up with the solution and, and what, what customers were telling you in terms of why this is so attractive. Yeah, well, that's a great question. So we've been in market for about five years and uh, you know, represented in a lot of different spaces, media, entertainment, oil and gas, life sciences. And those customers, essentially what we were doing was something called NAS optimization. We were improving the performance and the scalability of their um, file-based storage. And they came to us and they said, with the economics of cloud storage and what's going on with like the pricing drops from um, AWS, from Google, we have got to find a way to move to the cloud to take advantage of the economies of scale it provides. If you're, you know, we're already working with you, we trust you, you're in our workflow, and can you please help us move our data to the cloud? And uh, so what we did was we um, took some functionality called cloud gateway functionality, which translates between file-based protocols and object-based protocols, and put that into our software, and now we, can, now we allow customers really the freedom and flexibility to put data wherever they want. So the other big, big piece of this is really the cost um, efficiency of it. Um, what, are you, what, are, what are your customers typically seeing in terms of their ability to reduce their costs? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, it really depends upon the application and how much data they're storing. But I mean, you could get to, you know, you could get to um, probably a 75 to 80 percent reduction in the cost of capacity um, by moving to object-based storage. And, and where's the big bang for the buck? How does that happen? Uh, the big bang for the buck is, is basically, t especially in particular in the early phases right now, would be to take all of the data that you're not using, all the data that's just sitting there that no one's looking at, and move it all to the cloud. <laughs> that's an interesting take if you think about it, right? Take everything we don't use and move it to the cloud as opposed to everything we do use and move it to the cloud. Right, well, every, well the, the, the things that you do use, I mean, so what you want to do is you want to keep your most active data. You want to keep that on your premise because what happens is you need you typically need fast access to that. And if you have to go across a wide area, which is how you would access the cloud, even if you have the you know biggest pipes, the best bandwidth in the world, you're still going to have that physical latency of making a round trip to and from um, the cloud. So you want to keep the stuff that you access most frequently near you and then put everything else, which is probably 80 to 90% of your data, you want to put it someplace else. So there you have it. Um, the interesting take on storage uh, uh, in the cloud. And um, thanks for joining us, and have a great show. All right, thanks.